What's up, YouTube? Con from NT21 here. Welcome back to COH2 Online Replay Series Season 2. Anyway, we're playing as the, the Wehrmacht. Man, it's, it's hard to get gameplay sometimes on this game. Um, this is going to be a good match here. And you can see we're playing some decent guys. We're playing with carbon dioxide. Uh, we used to play the heist, the original heist together. And then Extra Wood is his buddy. And then I'm playing with Subscriber and the Wolf Slayer. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I've been getting a lot more messages lately when I'm on so coming up here is to, to play a match. And usually, you know, I pick up some people. Or um, if I'm doing like a 2v2 with like Juice Box or, or Nick or someone like that, then I'll just say, you know, I can't do it right now. And that just might happen. Um, but yeah, if I'm on it and I'm not in a game, then uh, if we're doing a 4v4 or something like that, I usually invite a subscriber or two along. So kind of fun to play with you guys, get to interact with the community. And uh, yeah, I mean. See, you know, YouTubers are just real, you know, people like you two. Just playing a game. And anyway, if we look at uh, Carbon Dioxide, he's going to do some very smart stuff in this match. And then you can see his level. He's 86, and his buddy is second prestige, level 9. So, I, let's just be honest. The step has been in this mat, in this game, since the beta of original Carbon Heroes 2 that I was part of. This was the only 4 vs 4 map originally. So, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to double the middle. So extra wood, and then Wolf Slayer is going to come down the middle to guard it, and then me and Carbon Dioxide are going to take this out. So we're going to try to get both fuels from these guys. You can see extra wood is some Storm Pioneers. Double rare echelons from this guy, that's kind of interesting. It's going to Koopa Wagon. And yeah, just a bunch of rear echelon troop spam. I don't know what that is, but... Seems kind of weird unless he wants to use some suppressing power, but they're getting. I mean, the rear echelon troops are not meant to be fighting very much. And look at this, just. It's completely destroyed here. Anyway, this is something that you see uh, good players do. You're going to see he's going to put barbed wire on the opposite side of this cover. So, what it's going to do is it's going to make it so any Russian troops that try to seek cover along this side can't get to it. You know, you can deny your opponent cover like this, and that's kind of an advanced strategy you don't see a lot of people use anymore. I'm definitely not good at using it myself. I should be using this more often. We can see you kind of block that off. So only his guys can have the cover. So if there's a if, you've got, if I have a machine gun place here, which I will later on, you know, if they can try to get behind that tank, there's no cover for them. That's a very good and smart thing to do. You can see using cover quite quite nicely, surprise them, Google Boggin. Storm Pioneers moving in. Anyway, I'm grabbing two machine guns here, and I'm even brought a machine gun to help support my allies. I want to make sure, you know, we're, not, we're having no pushback. So you can see our allies. Three of them are kind of in the middle. A bunch of riflemen. By the way, our allies are these guys. Three Americans and a Soviet. And the Soviet's down here in the south. He's putting up his own barbed wire trying to secure. I guess he wants to make more of a choke point for himself. And you can see it's a barbed wire war. It feels like World War One on this side. And the guy has snipers. You, you know how I feel about snipers. I, I hate the Soviet sniper teams. They drive me crazy. Because you can kill one of them and there's usually two of them. You know, when your men are, are laying wire like that, they are very vulnerable and can actually take a lot more damage than usual. So I'm my own engineers along here. I'm mainly trying to make sure I don't get outflanked. You know, I see a lot of American riflemen, so I'm going to pull back and get to a defensible position. You know, have my grenadiers come to help support if they try to rush my machine gun. You know, I've gone with three MGs. This is really MG heavy for me. See, we're already starting to lay down some fuel catch to get more fuel. The medical truck up here. Medical truck back there, too. So, my machine guns and my grenadiers went up. You know, we're going to try to push back these Americans. And I'm laying my own barbed wire here. <laughs> yeah, I'm really trying to cut off, the, cut off this area. But we're taking counters, so i got to fall back. At this point, I kind of try to get behind cover, and then I see a sniper, and I'm like, we're screwed. So when I retreat here, I'm going to die, which really sucks I'm going to lose a Pioneer Skull, because I cannot, I'm going to have to replace them. And they got sniped. So, one, I have to replace my snipers, and then two, oh, wow. <laughs> I have to replace my, my Pioneers, and then number two, I have to be able to, you know, take some manpower, and something from taking up with me to, you know, build other buildings. So I'm a machine gun here. I know there's probably going to be sniper fodder, but we have two of them. It's going to push back these shockers. I'm sorry, just standing here. He's probably trying to scout for his snipers. We're going to start taking shots at this guy's uh, carbon dioxide snipers. We have a third machine gun, so we have basically a, a full lot of machine guns. That, you know, these guys don't stand a chance advancing like this. They need some kind of light armor. You know, I'm kind of fortified in this middle here. 
when they go along to the left on machine gun, these guys are the MP40s, the other machine gun crews can start shooting at them while the machine gun's suppressing those guys. I even brought my grenadiers back to help. Uh, this is critical. You mind if snipers are around here and he's gonna move them up into the water? He's gonna, because I pulled my machine gun back, I'm not just not gonna let him shoot at me like that. He just sniped my crew. These guys became visible. I'm gonna launch a rifle grenade right in between these snipers to try to kill them both. Be very careful around grenadiers, because that just killed them both. So that's 360 manpower gone, just like that. My machine gun's now covering this side, and he's forced to fall back. So his sniper tactic was good, you know, push back my ally's machine gun here. He's now probably all the way back at base. He's making his way back, I think. Yeah, here he is. Swing his way back to base. Anyway, the north is a big, uh, <laughs> big infantry fight between the lieutenants. Well, just between a lot of Amer three uh, Americans are up here. A lot of riflemen. A lot of riflemen. They even wiped out an MG42. And he grabs him. Paul Schumacher trying to stop them from stealing his machine gun, but it looks like they're gonna get away with it. He's on a grenade. Where's all of them it? And they get away somehow. Oh, actually got wiped out. Nice. And extra wood is protecting this the mid here. So we have both fuels right now. This is very good. I am teching up. I'm even right now I'm worried about a possible Soviet tank, you know. You know, I, I did a video, I think it was number four on season it was definitely number four on season one on this exact map when I was in the south. Everything was going well like this and a T thirty four popped out and completely pushed me back and we lost. I'm not gonna get the same situation. I'm gonna grab a pack forty. I'm even gonna grab a mortar half track. Gonna, you know, we have plenty of fuel right now. I'm gonna be taking up anyway soon. And I really wanna use this against those kind of Soviet blobs. But I'm seeing blobs kinda like this. And you know, with the machine guns suppressing these guys, I have two of them. And then with the artillery coming in from this infantry support gun, they don't really stand a chance with their current tactics. And they're going to be reinforcing riflemen over there. Hey, yeah, there's kind of. They're starting to make a little bit of a forward base, reinforce the men off the ambulance there. That's pretty smart. You can see the, the Volksgrenadiers are going to push in. And they do have a. A Panzer Shrek, and they're going to try to aim for that ambulance. The first shot misses. Pathfinders move in. Up close, are going to do a whole lot of damage with their. Well, not the Pathfinders, but the, the riflemen. So I'm going to call a flame barrage right here. This is my. Uh, this is a mistake, though, by me, because he moved his guys right where the flames are. So. Yeah. That, that was bad by me. I hope Mortar Half Track killed two of his men there. Gonna, yeah, I, I didn't think the rifle would react that fast or get out of the way. That was kind of lucky. Now I'm forced to pull this, this more half track back. I'm going to be using this on my southern front and up here in the north. So you can see they're going to try to flank around more shock troops and penal troops. They're going to try to overwhelm this bunker, which doesn't have a machine gun yet, unfortunately. Now I'd be, I'd be very, be a little afraid of a bunker like this. I mean. If you're going against, if you have piano troops, you can definitely use the South Harge and blow that bunker up. And even as a munitions cache back here. So like I said, we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of fuel right now, so I'm gonna battle, escalate to battle phase two. And I'm gonna bring my, I'm gonna be using this incendiary mortar barrage because those are quite effective. You can land those right. You know, they're throwing. Oh, that really sucks. He just got. He's gonna lose that squad. Wow, Soviets can't apparently. Okay. I was gonna say, so it's couldn't hit anything. And I'm bombarding this area, I think he's possibly over there. I didn't see this, I was looking kind of in the middle. And yeah, let's see, let's hit tunnel run. Let's see, we got a lot of infantry, so that's. Wow, so six infantry squads. And two anti tank guns. And we got some more squads over here, a lot of fuel caches. This guy's a machine gun moving into position there. Just unlocks the support armor core so we can get some Panzer IVs on the field. And you can see an American assault's going in there, but the MG34 is going to suppress them and the infantry support guns do a lot of damage to their health. The more guys it kills, the higher battery it gains. He even has two of them now. And if we look at his bulletins, he has the. They reload faster. They recharge their barrage faster, and they also, um, yeah, fire more accurately. It's accuracy and faster reload, basically. And I see Soviet scout aircraft over, overhead. Not too worried about that. You know, we have a reinforcement bunker here. I need to put my men in 
reinforce there. I'm perfectly, you know, happy for them to see that I have a, a pack 40 here. We're kind of squaring off a little bit. And I moved my mortar half track up. I'm trying to burn out these these crews here. You know, I remember this being a little more deadly than it was, but once it gains higher vitality, it'll do more damage, I think. This is actually killing some men. Man, if I'm trying to like. When I see a blob like this, if you, can you imagine me having two of these and just hitting them both with barrages like that? So I'm moving this down. We have another kind of assault from the Soviets. It's basically two on one down here, and I'm kind of helping in the mid. But yeah, just the number of infantry these guys are dealing with. And thankfully, these guys don't have bars. But artillery will take these guys down. What will also take them down are some Panzer IVs. Which I'm saving up for. We're getting 40 fuel per minute on my first Panzer IV out. And yeah, I don't know why he's using the rear echelon troops and actually reinforce them. So many kills these guys have. Eight, and this one has four, so. Not too much so far. And then the Americans even get a pack house so or trying to counter these guys, which is smart. I mean, it's four hunt. Well, well, three of them are Americans. So we're just gonna call them. Nicholas. Nicholas is going to get the uh, the pack howitzer, which can start taking some shots, but doesn't have as much range as these guys. Anyway, I charged my Panzer foreign and saw two of these ATs. I'm going to pop some smoke and get the hell out of there. I almost lost my tank. I'd be huge if I lost my tank like that. And this guys are forced to retreat through a bouncing Betty minefield. So you can see carbon dioxide set up not only a bunker here to kind of help protect. He has not upgrade that actually, but he set up some minefield and some more barbed wire. Kind of force them towards this area and the, the barbed wire and uh, to the mines. You can see guys are still in pain like these shock troops. Now I'm actually using this effectively. You can see we're going to start burning out some of these divisional field guns. These these mortar half tracks, I love them. I, you know, I always really like, I really like using these now. Now it's veteran C1. Because one or two of these can make a difference. Anyway, the, the American blob is going to move in and force to retreat by my two machine guns here. You can see the howitzer's getting ready. And I'm going to get my tank repaired. And to make some, uh, and to bring some pioneers up. They were building a fuel cache back here, which got finished. I want to help my team out. You know, if we're not getting a whole lot of pressure, might as well help. I only have 16 kills so far, but. Actually, there's a lot of kills. Anyway, the Luke's light tank is dealing some death to these guys, and that is when the Soviet quits. So this guy's now an AI, and he's quit. And that's not good to quit this early. I mean, it's not, you know, you don't always have to make progress in the south, right? And that's when I move my own mortar half track in and just try to take out this howitzer. And keep in mind, it can't move and this guy's completely on the fire, you know, fire there. So he's pretty much going to lose his squad there. And he did. But keep in mind that you have a mortar half track here. So once you burn out a squad, that's when you got to retreat because they're going to try to counter barrage you. And my carbon, carbon dioxide even stole a <laughs> even stole a field gun from the Soviets. So my tank's almost being done repaired. These guys are pushing up. These guys are like laying down a mine. I'm totally cool to kill them when they're laying down a mine like that. But you might just a half track. It does take damage from small arms like that. So I have to push that back. They're moving in. Making steady progress up here against rear echelon. They're using grenades. More kind of elite troops like the Storm Pioneers and the Fallschirm Jaegers. And now that's Soviets with the scout car. And yeah, Dances wasn't very happy. He feels like a scrub basically when he plays with the Germans. And I'm gonna push in. I see a scout, you know, utility car. I got a tank. That thing's screwed. So is his mortar half track, so he kind of went like, he went light like that. It's 14 minutes in the game, we have both fuel. He opted out his crew to save them there. That's not bad. I and my Panzer IVs kind of working together. He's either taking out the, sh the shock troops over there. And I turned my tank so that the Zoos would hopefully bounce off these guys. At Bet 2 squad, pretty much dead. I'm going to push in. Actually, carbon dioxide pushed in and we pretty much just tore a hole right through the center of them. 
This guy hopped out of the ambulance with his mechs to heal off those guys and... Oh, well, two of those mechs are dead now. So I have my tanks right here. I see the, the captain moving in. I know there's these ATs here. I'm just gonna pull back. I'm gonna I'm gonna man this hill basically. I'm gonna push back to this area. I'm gonna pull back to that area and I'll push. And with the Lukes, they're just gonna be pushing these guys back. They have a ton of infantry, they're a lot of them are just sitting here not doing anything. And you can see Wolf Slayer's been doing a good job of getting around the this area, and that's when they decided to surrender. So that, I know that was a quick game. Um, most of the games we had that I played with these guys, the people quit. And anyway, I got another game coming for you guys up soon, so hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I think what really did it first we were able to control both fuels solidly, like I was talking about. If you have both fuels throughout the match, you will win. You will pretty much win if you have both fuels, if you can get those tanks out first and you don't lose your fuel. Now, it's not impossible, just make sure you're competitive for this fuel. Yes, they sent a couple of troops in over here to take the fuel, right? They sent a couple of riflemen going up against two machine guns. They never really openly challenged this too much. They should have had smoke. They had a lot of troops. They could have tried to flank around. Now, my allies are doing a good job of trying to hold them. They're more focused on the VPs up north. But when you have mass infantry, it's a ton of manpower. You don't have the fuel for it. And then once you, the enemy has two Panzer IVs out, you know, I was making a third one at that point. I have an armored, you know, I have a half track here. I mean, what were they really going to do? And their ally quit in the south because he got totally pushed back. So that's how I thought this game turned out here. You can see I had 43 kills and only 8 men lost. Actually, I lost the least amount of troops and killed almost the most amount. So, I anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Cut for two two one signing off. Leave a comment down below on uh, what, you, what you thought of this match. I'm interested on your feedback. And this one's been shorter. You know, I do some of the long ones. Um, it just depends on the length of the gameplay. I don't really dedicate that. or I don't really dictate what the game, length of the gameplay is. It's sure if the enemy surrenders or not. Cut for two two one signing off.